We're horsing around today on the Express. You're cute. <laughs> On today's show, All right, Sturgeon. Bianca meets her match in mission. This is a fighter. Yeah. He loves all kinds of attention. <laughs> Horse heaven in Langley. Hey, Jeff. The city's foodie fast food. Watch this guy. You'll see him again here in five minutes. We could have had it all. And young talent in the Tri Cities. Rolling in the deep. See that in more local expression. Broke my heart this way. Welcome to the Express. We're at Thunderbird Show Park here in Langley. I'm Melanie Panetta. On yesterday's show, Bianca Solterbeck met a local man who left his insurance job to pursue his passion, fishing. Today, she's going to try her turn to catch a sturgeon. No easy feat when you consider one fish can weigh up to a thousand pounds. Big Summer is brought to you by Cultus Lake Water Park, BC's number one water park. Put the 24 ounce on there. Nice. I recently went sturgeon fishing for the first time with pro fisherman Lang Nguyen. He caught a big fish, but today it's my turn. And after some careful instructions... Put the rod tip down and whine at the same time. We get a fight. <laughs> okay. Okay. There's a fighting belt right in the middle there. And okay. I want you to stay square with the fish. Okay, and reel down. Okay, lift up. Lift up. There you go. Yeah. So, Do I still have down? him? Yeah, you did, yeah, he's right there. He's right there. Perfect. <laughs> All right, Sturgeon. Come on, get him. Come on. Come on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh my God, it's bending the yeah. rod. Yeah, that's good. This is a fighter. <laughs> yeah, good job. Wow. OK, what are you going to do? Okay. I'm going to put the fish in, in the boat. Well, there he is. <laughs> OK, oh. oh. I caught a fish this big. <laughs> oh, the, yeah, the Sturgeon is a virgin, meaning that he's never been tagged before. Nine, four, six, five, seven. Back of his head, there's a, there's a hard plate right here, and then we're gonna insert it right behind there. My goal is to tag a thousand fish this year. Got it. 149, exactly. Yeah, you got it? Wow. Okay, <laughs> you ready? <laughs> Am I, ah! <laughs> And a photo op with your fish is a must. Oh. Bye -bye. Good job! <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Good job. I got a fish. So I would call that a very successful day on the water. Yes, it is. You know, I got fish, you got fish. Lang has caught sturgeon up to nine feet long, but they're catch and release only. So while you can't actually take the sturgeon home with you, they do have slime all around them. So if you're lucky, you'll get some of that on your shirt as a souvenir. I'm Bianca Salterbeck in Mission for Big Summer. Big Summer is brought to you by Cultus Lake Water Park, BC's number one water park. The main sturgeon season runs until November. If you want more info, you can go to his website. Now the animals coming up are just as big, but maybe a little bit more graceful. We're here at Thunderbird Show Park to see how riders get ready for international competition. Ryan's jumped a lot of Peter Holmes courses, so hopefully he knows what he's in, in to expect here. I always kind of grew up with the idea that someday I would start riding. At only 25 years old, he's representing his country in this year's Keg Steakhouse and Bar World Cup Grand Prix. The upcoming tournament is our biggest one of the year, and it's a World Cup qualifier. For the last year and a half, he's won almost everything he's gone in, but this will be a big test for him just because of all the international talent that came up for it. I don't think we've had a fault there yet today. It's fantastic to be able to do it uh, so close to home. And you know, you have the advantage of knowing so many people. And the support that you get from, from your friends locally is, is, uh, is fantastic. He's been riding since he was six and has homegrown support. But it doesn't mean Brian's not nervous. It's always a good sign when you start to get nervous because it means you're about to get on your game. Coming up later on the show, we'll take you to the stables where we see how the riders take care of their horses. But up first, we take you on a very tasty tour of Vancouver. So is it really a 
addicted. Oh my gosh, is it ever. Watch this guy, you'll see him again here in five minutes. It's so addictive, they go through about 2,000 pounds of pork a month just out of this little shack here. Food carts, Vancouver's new fast food. Gourmet to goes, popping up on every corner. The new meal on wheels cruising down Van City streets. A far cry from this town's original hot dog hallowed halls. How come we didn't used to have all this gourmet street food? Well, it dates back to an outdated bylaw from the mid-1970s that restricted our street food scene to hot dogs, chestnuts, and popcorn. Not that the hot dogs aren't still getting attention. We'd confirm with the folks at Japa Dog, but the line's too long. To get a real sense of what this foodie food cart craze means to the neighborhood. Welcome to the belly of the dragon. Ask Jason Apple at Roaming Dragon. They opened one of the city's first food carts. You have chef leaving positions in prominent restaurants to have carts. You have uh, food trucks that are bringing restaurant quality food to the streets of Vancouver. Uh, so it's, it's been awesome. I think we're setting the stage for North America right now, actually. And if he's too busy making the famous rice balls and entertaining his line. Hey, Jeff. Oh, yeah. One that I must add moves surprisingly fast. Then ask the guy in the bright orange jacket, or better yet, join his tour. Eat your cart out. The term banh mi literally translates into French bread. That's right. There's a reason that Steve knows so much about bylaws and banh mi's, and why he sampled more than his fair share of pulled pork sandwiches. We stop here three days a week. Eat your cart out is actually the tale of Vancouver food. It's food culture, food history, and along the way, we're also going to get a chance to sample some of the incredible new street food that has taken our city by storm. This is a tofu sandwich. Okay, thank you very much. Steve also uses the tour to showcase the mom and pop side of the growing Vancouver food cart industry, an opportunity to try authentic family recipes. Well, it's a partnership between my brother and my boyfriend and myself, and mom is helping out. We're the second generation, so we've got her recipes and oh, so forth, wow. and very authentic and... Oh, and spicy, <laughs> if you ask for it that way. Yes. Tasty, informative, and easy to digest. Eating my cart out in Vancouver, I'm Johanna Ward for The Express. Eat Your Cart Out tours run three days a week and $2 from every tour go to a loving spoonful. There's lots more coming up on The Express. Stay with us. After the break, a 13-year-old singing sensation. And Salmon is center stage in Richmond. You're watching local TV on The Express. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward.